Something died here. There's a very strong rotting smell. Um, oh my god. <laughs> that That's really uh, foul. I'm, I don't know what direction. I mean, I feel like it's maybe from up there. Um, I'm not going to go investigate, but it's uh, quite possibly something large like a cow or an elk. I don't know. That's a, that's a rough thing to wake up to in the morning and start hiking to. I mean, I didn't wake up to it, but I mean, I still feel like I'm waking up as I'm walking. Um, I did see an elk this morning, which is pretty cool. I think the smell has passed, so it must have been back there. Oof, that was rough. Did get frost again last night, but that's not as big of a surprise because uh, it's over 10,000 feet right now, so it's kind of expected. And then uh, I got some service. Apparently my mom has been shuttling some hikers around to and from Cumbers Pass and Chama. So I'm really proud of her for doing that. So I lost a gator in East Glacier thinking I looked out, looking all around for it, thinking an animal stole it. And then that evening, I found the other one. It was packed up in my bag and a couple nights ago. Uh, same thing happened. In the morning, I was like, oh, where's my other gator? Probably just packed it up in my pack somewhere. And it never showed back up. So I'm pretty sure an animal ran off with it that night. And it's been really annoying because, like, I guess wearing these gators make my shoelaces not come undone because uh, they'll catch on things and then they'll just come undone. And then uh, they like snagging on stuff and I'm definitely noticing debris getting into my shoes when they don't normally. So they really do their job even though I uh, don't have Velcro on here and they just kind of sit there and it seems to work out pretty well. And then also they got some little holes in them. I'm pretty sure rodent chewed on them. But whatever, today's the last day of the CDT, so I'll be just fine. I can't get over how bad I smell. Like, I smell just horrific. I can just smell my body odor. I mean, it's been like a week since I've showered. And then it's been 11 days since my clothes are washed. And uh, I got wet, muddy, dried, wet, muddy, dried over and over again. So everything is just kind of has a people version of wet dog smell to it. <sighs> the sign is kind of a mess, but it's the Colorado border. Woo! Got some license plates on there to mark it with New Mexico and Colorado. Sweet. There's something satisfying about finishing a through hike with zero food in my pack. I have absolutely nothing right now, but like this is the last day. These are the last two miles and I will eat so much in town. <laughs> so I just made it to the trailhead at Cumbers Pass. My mom's here to Yay! meet me. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, I'm just really excited right now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great seeing her and then um, fortunately there's no sign that says Cumbers Pass but this is the trailhead where I got dropped off and it looks so much more different without the snow <laughs> because everything was just dusted. It was snowing on me and then it got worse the further I went up. I think the train's actually running now. Oh I see some smoke from it. <laughs>